Hey guys, we're gonna be going over a uh, Stasis Titan Behemoth build. Revolves around constant slow. Gonna be slowing everything, freezing things. It revolves around the dust field grenade. You'll you'll see once we get into it. Um, so first aspect is going to be uh, Tectonic Harvest, and you'll see why I use te Tectonic Harvest later. Um, but it is the first aspect that I use, and then the other one is Cryoclasm. Again, you'll see why I use these two, but I just want to let you know what aspects I'm using. And then the fragments are really the bread and butter of this build. So first we have Whisper of Torment, where you gain grenade energy each time you take damage. That's going to be really big for keeping those gr that grenade up, up time. And then you've got Whisper of Refraction, for defeating slowed or frozen targets, grants you class ability energy. And we've got Whisper of Shards, of course, that's going to be needed. Or shattering a stasis crystal gives you grenade, increased grenade recharge rate. Huge for this build. Um, and then we've got the last one is Whisper of Durance, where slows last longer. And that is really handful for dust field grenades that last longer on the field and enemies stay slow longer as well. And now, this revolves around the Exotic Armor Horfrost. And for the mods, let's see what we've got here. Um, so the mods on the helmet don't really matter so much. You're probably going to want to use a siphon mod for whatever weapon you're primarily using. Um, heavy ammo finder doesn't hurt. Um, ashes to acids I found didn't work so well with this build just because dust wheels don't really kill a lot of the time, it's usually the shatter, but you might get some use out of that. Uh, really the mods start on the arms. So you're, of course you're going to want fastball so you can throw those grenades further. Just helps for a more reliable throwing distance. And you've got bolstering destination, or sorry, bolstering detonation. This one is huge. Uh, it gives you class ability energy, which feeds to your Horfrost when you do damage with a grenade. And what's great about this is that even though there's a cooldown timer on the mod itself, so it can't just like constantly be giving you ticks of class ability energy, you actually it actually can proc twice with one dust field grenade when you have whisper endurance for increasing those slows that's why that fragment is so helpful and then you've got grenade kickstart of course you want to be throwing more grenades for my chest i just roll and roll into i just try to stack up my resistances i'm trying not to die this is going to be in a gm um you can really much pretty much use whatever you want here um yeah it's not as important again like like the helmet um, but then once we get into the legs, I use recuperation. I pretty much on all my builds. I just like having some reliable healing every time I pick up an orb. Um, and then I've got absolution, so that anytime I do pick up an orb, it's feeding into both my grenade and my class ability energy. And then elemental charge, because we're using Horfrost, we're using Tectonic Harvest, we're going to be getting armor charges with elemental charge. It all feeds back into one itself. And then on the legs, because I'm popping Quark Frost as often as possible, popping my class ability, my class ability <clears throat> I'm running Double Bomber, because it does stack, and then one Utility Kickstart. And you might be wondering, why am I using two Kickstart mods? Because they can kind of counteract each other. Well, the reason being is that even with no armor charge, the Utility Kickstart mods still give you ability refund. It might be minimal, it might be small, but it's still better than nothing. So I'm running two Kickstart mods. And I'm going to show you how this build works on the Mars GM, one of the harder ones, just so you can really see how powerful this is. I know Stasis is in a really bad spot, but this build can still be very effective. Constant slow, you're freezing things. It works um, with Overload Champions because of slow, Unstoppables because of freeze. And then you also can kind of work against barriers for that freeze as well. It's super effective. You'll see the video. Um, yeah, just enjoy the rest of the GM and watch how it works. Have a good one, boys.
understand the sorry state this system is in. Can't even hold a station orbiting your own planet. I had suggested destroying the station with a missile.